Hello and welcome back. We now discuss question number 1 from exercise 6.1. The question says a manufacturing firm produces two types of gadgets A and B which are first processed in foundry and then sent to machine shop for finishing. The number of man hours of labor required in each shop for production of A and B and the number of man hours available for the firm are as follows. So we have been given the table over here. Next what they have given is the profit on sale of A is rupees 30 and B is rupees 20 per unit. Formulate the LPP to have maximum profit. So we don't know the quantities right that is number of units of A and number of units of B that must be manufactured. So what we do is we assume the number of units of A and number of units of B as X and Y. So let X represent the number of units of gadget A and Y represent the number of units of gadget B. Now obviously X and Y cannot be negative so we have this condition both X and Y are greater than or equal to 0. So these are a non-negative constraints. Next, let us prepare the given data in the tabular form. So, we have two gadgets over here, A and B, the quantities are X and Y and these two have to pass through two processes, foundry and machine shops, so foundry and machine shops, we just mentioned that over here. We have foundry and machine shop. And the man hours for each unit for A. Uh, now in foundry it is 10 and machine shop it is 5. So 10 and 5. This is for each unit. So 10 and 5. And for B it's 6 and 4. For B it is 6 man hours and 4 man hours and the available man hours have been provided to us. So we just mention the available man hours. Now this has been given as 60 and 35. So here it is 60, here it is 35. So using these conditions we can have the set of inequalities. So the inequations or the inequalities which could be formed would be now for the foundry time taken by A that is X units of A would be 10X and for Y units of B it would be 6Y. So the total time would be 10X plus 6Y but we have only 60 hours man hours available. So this total time must be less than or equal to 60. Likewise for machine shop for x units of A we require 5x man hours and for y units of B we require 4y man hours. The total time we require is 5x plus 4y and the available time is 35. So this total is less than or equal to 35. Next what has been given is profit. Profit per unit has been given. Okay, in rupees. Now profit on A is 30 and B is 20. So this is 20, sorry 30 and this is 20. Let's cross check. Yeah, it's 30 and 20 per unit. So therefore, we can have the total profit over here. So total profit, let us call this as Z would be equal to, so x units of A, the profit would be 
30x and for y units of b the profit would be 20y. So the total profit would be 30x plus 20y. Now we just have to combine all the conditions together and we get the LPP. So therefore the LPP is, now since we are dealing with profit, our objective function is profit, that is it has to be maximum. So we say maximize Z, Z that is the profit function. So it is 30x plus 20y, this is the objective function and the restrictions we mention it here. So subject to the first restriction is for foundry and that is 10x plus 6y less than equal to 60. 10x plus 6y less than or equal to 60. The second restriction is 5x plus 4y less than equal to 35. 5x plus 4y less than equal to 35 and finally we write a non-negative constraints x and y both are greater than or equal to 0.